gold medalist. He's a two-time heavyweight champion, just like me. Yeah. He's uh, he's won all the belts, and you know he's a great great athlete. Well, it's nice that you say that. I know you have respect for him. You clearly have of respect course, for him as, a as an athlete, as yeah. a fighter. Do you like him? I don't know him personal to say, oh, I like him or dislike him, but from what I've seen of him, he seems a decent guy. But I mean, of the people you've knocked out over the years, who did you like the most? <laughs> um, <laughs> Those are the words of Tyson the Gypsy King Fury as he surprisingly gives Anthony Joshua a lot of respect, something that he doesn't do all the time, so don't get used to Tyson Fury doing that, so let's break that down a little bit. Um, Tyson Fury was definitely impressed with Anthony Joshua's performance. I mean, so was I. Uh, I think that he's learning more and more every day. Um... Tyson Fury also broke down, you know, hey, golden Olympian, you know, two-time heavyweight champion, you know, just like uh, Fury. And he has a lot of respect for him inside the ring. He really doesn't know him personally, you know, so, but according to what he has, you know, seen on him, he's all right, fella, right? Now, Tyson Fury is the guy that <clears throat> he does a series of things, okay? One interview, he might break you down and might call you a dulce, a shithouse, a this, a that, something derogatory. Um, but then in, a, in, but in other instances, he's like, no, he's, he looks like a good fellow. I respect him and, you know, I respect him inside the ring. He's a great athlete, you know? And then the question you ask yourself is like, which one is this... Tyson Fury being honest or is this just Tyson Fury trying to give us a certain aspect of Joshua to build a fight because he thinks and he feels that that fight is probably the one that's more than likely going to happen next, you know, um, because it's one thing, you know, Floyd did it best. Floyd talked up a fighter, you know, oh, um, I think Victor Ortiz is a good fighter. Um, he's, He's a good challenger, and you know I I, I think he's gonna bring uh, he's gonna bring bring the levels to the game just to get in there with the best the TBE the money team you know um but and then after that he beats him um you know like I said he was a good fighter but he went better than me <laughs> right so you build a fighter up to uh, beat him up then you will have everyone thinking that he's better than he really is. Is, is Tyson Fury doing that? Because Tyson Fury said some things. However, it ain't the first time he said something about Joshua. The uppercuts, you know, the uppercut left hook combination that Joshua was working on before he fought uh, Povetkin, I mean, uh, Pulev. And, you know, they were crashing. And then, of course, his trainer had to say, like, hey, yo, Tyson, don't do that. You know, don't, don't um, build confidence for your fighter. You know, and I think um, him hearing, meaning him, meaning Javon Sugar Hill, hearing this from Tyson Fury now, uh, I think he would disapprove. You know, like, hey, don't say what he's this and that. Call him a doll, call him a bum, call him the Tyson Fury special uh, insults that he's known for. Call him one of those. Don't give him that type of confidence. You know, but in this, he looked like he was generally speaking of Anthony Joshua, probably the way he feels. That's the question I want to ask you guys. You guys tell me what you think, Tyson Fury. Is this the real Tyson Fury? Or is Tyson Fury going with an agenda for a particular purpose? Guys, tell me below in your comments. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys can counterpunch. Peace.